guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about healthy, safe sunscreen alternatives. I've consulted the EWG's Healthy Sunscreen Guide for 2015. They come out with one every single year and they list the top best ones that are out this year and actually the worst ones too, as well as a nice little packet of information for you to figure out how to choose a healthier sunscreen. So traditional sunscreens are chemical sunscreens, whereas natural sunscreens are mineral sunscreens or physical sunscreens, in which case the minerals actually like block the surface of your skin from the sun. So the problem with chemical sunscreens is that their active ingredients are not good for you. So for instance, a lot of them have added retinol palmitate or vitamin A to it, and vitamin A has actually been found in studies to speed up the growth of skin cancers. And the second thing is that chemical sunscreens, there are a couple of them, but the best known one is oxybenzone is really bad for you on the inside. So again, it's gonna be one of those endocrine disruptors. The body thinks that it's an estrogen, and it's been also linked to endometriosis, and of course, it's a carcinogen. Now, it can be tricky to find a natural sunscreen that has the texture that you want. There aren't any that are aerosolized because the whole act of spraying something on your skin, you're breathing in those chemicals as well. So, you don't want that either. So it's nice that the EWG goes through every year all the natural ones on the market and tests them for both stability, how well they block UVB and UVA light, and how safe they are for your bodies. So this year the EWG actually packaged together a little bundle of sample and full size sunscreens that made their healthiest list and sold them and my mom surprised me with one of them. So I've got all of them right here to go through with you guys. So these are ones that made their list. And I'm gonna be testing them throughout the summer. Unfortunately, we haven't had any days that I've needed to use sunscreen yet here. So as we go through the summer, I'm gonna test them out and let you know um, which would be the ones that I would recommend buying based off of texture and how easy that they work and work into the skin. And I will probably update you guys in a monthly favorites video on that as well as probably on Instagram. And I can go ahead and leave a comment in the down bar too. So I'm just gonna go by size. We'll go biggest to smallest. Seems logical. So number one, this is actually funny because I bought a two pack of these at Costco a couple weeks ago. This is the Honest Company Sunscreen Lotion. Um, it's non-nano zinc oxide water resistant for 80 minutes, hypoallergenic, and it's SPF 30. Sometimes natural mineral sunscreens do contain nanoparticles, so that is also something that the EWG is screening out. So none of them contain nanoparticles either. I just actually worked this one into my skin when I bought it a couple weeks ago, and it actually does spread quite nicely, and it's fragrance-free, which is my favorite thing in the world. This is from California Baby. It's their super sensitive, broad spectrum SPF 30, no fragrance, vegan, tear-free, water resistance, also for 80 minutes. Next is the Beauty Counter Protect. All over sunscreen with blood orange and aloe, broad spectrum, SPF 30, water resistant for 40 minutes. You guys saw my rose makeup tutorial. I used the Beauty Counter Tint Skin as like a first impression and I really, really liked it. And I kind of thought Beauty Counter meant like department store beauty counter. I thought that's how they got their name, but actually they got their name because they're like counterculture of beauty and they ban so many bad ingredients. All of their stuff is actually made overseas because they couldn't find a place in America that was up to their standards of how they wanted their stuff produced. So I'm actually really excited to try this, especially because I feel like it might spread on the face really nicely as well since they do a lot of skincare and makeup. This one is from Goddess Garden Organics and it's their Sunny Kids Natural Sunscreen SPF 30. And again, water resistance for 40 minutes. This one also is organic. This is one that I've already talked about as well, and it's the Juice Beauty CC Cream. And this is in the shade Warm Glow. So it's kind of funny because I actually just gave the one that I got in my Petty Pore box to my friend. The scent is a bit strong. If you cannot handle herbal fragrances, you'll probably not like this. I wish that I could use it, but you know, it'll go to another good home. It's beautiful, it covers your redness nicely. This is the Babu Botanicals, I think. 
clear zinc sports stick for face, lips, nose, ears, and extra sensitive skin, fragrance-free SPF 30. I've seen this company on Instagram quite a bit, and I'm excited to try a stick because sometimes I feel like a stick um, goes on the face a little bit nicer, and it's interesting that they also say it's good for lips and other like sensitive areas. I'm just going to see how nicely it um, blends. It is a bit waxy, but yeah, I think I think that it'll work on the face. I'm gonna give it a try. It actually smells a little bit like cocoa butter or some other seed butter. What is it? Next is the Suntegrity 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen, and this is the light tinted shade. Lots of you guys love this. I really, really wanted to love this. This is another really great facial tinted moisturizing, sunscreen-y type product. It evens out your complexion really nicely. It's very light. It's unscented. But I found that for me, I was sort of, I had like, I felt kind of weird when I was, every time I used it, it made me kind of like dizzy, which is something that happens to me um, when I use stuff on my face that my body doesn't like. But I think for the average person, this is awesome and I've seen so many people love it. And I wanted to love it. Here's another stick. This is the Baby Gamics Pure Mineral Sunscreen Stick. This is SPF 50, tear free. All good coconut lip balm, and it's SPF 20 with ultra zinc protection and organic ingredients. Um, I'm I'm never opposed to another chapstick, especially if it has sun protection, because I find that my lips get burnt really really easily when I'm outside, and it's coconut. Oh my gosh, it smells really good. This is a foil packet of the Raw Elements Eco Formula SPF 30 Tear Free Eco Safe Natural Sunscreen. These two are also foil packets. I have an amazing body and a gorgeous family, apparently. They are by Sunology. This one is SPF 50, and this one is also SPF 50. Really not going to use the SPF 50s. Here's another foil packet of the Aubrey Organics Sunscreen. SPF 15 Defense Moisturizer. Ooh, that's exciting. I'm certainly going to try this. Foil packet of the Aubrey Kids Natural Sun in SPF 45. Let me know if you guys have any natural sunscreens that you really love and you think that I should try, and I will certainly keep you guys posted on which ones that I have found to be the winners out of all of these that the EWG has picked to be safe and good. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe below if you would like to. I will see you guys next time.